Hey, this is Sky. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Go check out my website at skyazrael.com. I want to talk about getting to know ourselves. That's what self-mastery is all about, is getting to know yourself. A lot of people really don't know themselves very well. They may think you do. Other people might actually know you better than you know yourself. We have many different voices that chatter all the time inside our heads. Running their mouths about all kinds of bullshit. What we see, what we've heard, the future, the past, the present. Oh, that's a cute dog. Oh, it's a red light. Look at that hot chick. We're, we're just thinking random shit all the time. But who are you really? Which voice are you? Do you even know who you are? When you say something to yourself, say a word to yourself. Let's all try an experiment. Say the sentence, everybody do this right now. Say it in your head, not out loud. Say the sentence to yourself in your head. Say, I am king. Let's say it right now. One, two, three, say it. Okay, so if you're playing along with the game and you just said, I am king in your head, which voice said it? Who said it? Was it you that said it? Now you heard yourself say it. We each said it in our head. And who said that? And then which voice heard it? Because you heard yourself say it. When we talk to ourselves in our head, we hear ourselves talking. Who's the one listening? You know, we can, with our imagination, with our mind, we can imagine the future. We can see the future, sometimes accurately, some, sometimes not. There's many potentialities in the future, thousands of them. Just depends on what steps you make, what decisions you make. But we can see the future. We can see a potential future. Maybe, maybe we can see a few potential futures. Who is it that's seeing that future? We can relive the past. I do this way too much. And when I relive the past, it's like a movie in my head. Who's, who's playing that movie? And who's the one watching it? You see, we have this inner dimension that goes beyond time. And in that inner dimension, we have a version of ourselves that is the master of that dimension, the king of that dimension. But the person that's running that dimension is really also the person that is in control of this three-dimensional world that we live in, the real world that we live in. How do you find that voice? and connect with who you really are. You may have an inner voice that's crying out for a certain life, that, that wants certain things, that's thinking about certain things, and you're a mindless zombie not even paying attention. We have many voices in our heads. The, the trick to this, to finding out who you really are, is to quiet the mind so you can hear that one voice. There's one voice that said, I am king. It wasn't a thousand voices when you just said that to yourself. It wasn't a group that said it. It was one voice. That's the real you. A way that we can find who we really are is through simple meditation. What we do with a very simple meditation is you just find a quiet spot to sit down. It can be in your office. Just shut the door. Maybe shut the blinds. 
turn your cell phone over so you're not checking your messages. Just get rid of distraction. Go to the beach if you live near the beach or go out into the woods and find a spot that you feel safe and comfortable where no one's going to sneak up on you, that kind of thing. You're not turning around saying hi to people as they're walking down a path. Go someplace cool. And just sit there and notice nature and breathe, breathe deeply in through your nose and let that breath fill your whole body from your toes to the top of your head and then you release it slowly. As you're breathing and you're enjoying your spot wherever it is, it could be in your room, could be in your living room, could be in your backyard, wherever your spot is, find yourself a sanctuary. It's where you're going to meditate. You're going to do this frequently. And you're breathing and you're noticing nature. You're listening to the sounds. And you tell yourself, you may have to write this down. Tell yourself, I release all thoughts to the universe with loving kindness as they arise. You tell yourself that sentence. I release all thoughts to the universe with loving kindness as they arise. And as you're telling yourself this sentence over and over and over again, you repeat it as you're breathing and as you're sitting there. You just keep saying to yourself, I release all thoughts to the universe with loving kindness as they arise. And you do this with an intention to drown out all the other thoughts. And you're thinking about your grocery list. You're thinking about what that punk motherfucker said to you the other day at work. Drown it all out with, I release all thoughts to the universe with loving kindness as they arise. And so that's the only sentence you can hear. That's the only voice you can hear. The only thing that is in your head is that stupid fucking sentence. You're just saying it mindlessly. You don't hear anything else. There's no more chatter. It's just one voice drowning it all out. And then you can imagine you can add a second level to this as you're saying I release all thoughts to the universe with loving kindness as they arise you can imagine each one of your thoughts we have thousands of thoughts each one of our thoughts floating out of our head like little bubbles and bursting into the air and you're emptying your mind you're emptying your mind and all you have is that one voice that's just repeating 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 that's the real you you'll get tired of repeating and you'll eventually just quiet down you, you'll, you'll slip into a nothingness. There'll be no more thought. You'll be in this unique state where it won't last long. I warn you, this is a, a short amount of time. You're going to start thinking again. All that bullshit's going to come back. But you're going to have a window of calm, of nothingness. Find the nothingness and you will find yourself. It's all food for thought. Thanks for watching.